Hello, my dear friends. Uh, welcome to Finvest Talk Investment Talk Channel. So today we are going to talk about something which is very close to my heart. It has been brought up for being in defense service for decade and off. The number one thing is that discipline. So discipline it will come you a long way in your life, be it a personal life or a professional life or in your studies or in a marital life. Discipline is one important thing that will keep you focused, keep you going forward day in and day out, no matter what come what may. Today I am going to tell you a small story about discipline, then come to our main topic. So you can see the picture on my left. Uh, there is a small uh, porcupine kind of a creature here. Uh, that's called hedgehog. So this. This hedgehog is very small. This has got spines over its bodies, like a porcupine, and it comes somewhere around this palm sized, this size of a spawn only. And uh, mostly it's seen in North America. And on the left, we know this creature, this is a very clever guy called a fox. So he's clever, and then he's decisive, he ambushes very fast, and he knows when to do what. But every time this fox tries to hunt this hedgehog it always always fails why because it's this hedgehog simply it will curve itself and then then uh, it will expose only to the pines so this fellow on the left the fox it will, he will try 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 because if he eats the pine will just to pierce his tongue and nose and uh, mouth so it will be very painful for him but she will try 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 for 10 15 20 minutes till that time this hedgehog will keep himself cuddled it keeps himself curved and it will not expose his soft part of his body that is the dorsal side so he it will not it will not expose so it will expose only the his back side it won't be able to attack or killed by this fox so every time 99 percent of time this fox fails despite having all the cleverness all the agility all the uh, all the uh, so naturally uh, biased uh, strength this fox fails to hunt this small creature hedgehog similarly if you do something with the most discipline or repeatedly if you do it will even save your life the point is that it will even save your life yes my dear friends today we will talk about 10 financial mistakes to avoid. Be disciplined. Do not do these things in your life. You will be better off. In a disciplined way, doing something is different. Not doing abstention also very, very important. As an investor, most of the people, more, uh, more than the commission, the omission is very, very important. Staying silent, not doing things at given situation that will avoid a lot of problems for you. you which are all those? You will just go and see. Very simple. And uh, please subscribe, comment and like this video. This video is going to be very, very important. At the end of video, at least you would know what all things not to do, what all things to avoid at all cost. Number one, bad debts. Never ever get into high interest loans. High interest loans means what? Personal loans. If you can avoid a personal loan, that is one of the best thing to do and easiest to get is personal loans. Personal loans are very high. And then money tap apps. Money tap app means which you can easily you can download, do other KYC. Most of these apps are uh, banned in India, but still some people are borrowing it out of compulsion. Even students are borrowing and then they are facing a lot of problem. So please avoid this money tap loans, money tap app loans at any cost, any given cost. Number three, you just avoid the credit card money withdrawal, right? Credit card spending is fine, but credit card money withdrawal is a very bad habit. If you start doing that, then for anything and everything, you will withdraw the cash and use it as you want. Never ever do that. Credit card loans, if not paid, it will attract somewhere between 36 to 43% per annum interest rate. Don't do that. Number four, don't do not avail loan from the local lenders where they are interesting charge on monthly basis, three, two percent, three percent, four percent. So do not do that. 
to go to a professional agency then you borrow and then put it to put the money to work if you are taking credit card use the credit card uh, intelligently and then pay back in time so avoid bad debts and high interest loans at any cost number two not budgeting so without budgeting what will happen you will keep on spending as long as there is some savings whatever the money available in your bank account it will keep on spending there will not be any limit for that we already have to do budgeting so go to asset allocation calculator and then monthly expenses calculator 50 30 20 rule is there so look at this video and then learn it and learn how to use excel sheet on monthly basis this is very hard at initially but disciplined manner if you start doing it definitely you will be better off you will come back one year and then put it in comment at least so how much it has helped you so do budgeting how much you are going to save how much you are going to invest it and pay yourself first pay yourself first means save first then spend it so do not spend without budgeting then not savings early and regularly yes my dear friends so those who are especially for youngsters save early as soon as you join a job take a profession start saving early and then regularly make it periodic automatic nach or ecs auto debit so automatically it will go to sip automatically it will go to insurance premium automatically it will go to your ppf so make a habit so two three four five years just years will pass just like that but you can make a very good savings for medium to long term it will really help you so not saving is a very bad habit start inculcating this from very first moment then impulse wise impulse wise my dear friends impulse wise most of the people falling for it even from small pizza for the birthday or any occasion purchasing cakes or going for movie or everybody is going so problem is that conformity it is like everyone is doing i will also do so that is the most biggest problem the current current generation i would not say this is the more than the life expenses lifestyle expenses has increased so if somebody is doing something i will also have to do so if somebody is spending for movie i will spend it for something else so people are differentiating yes i am not going for movie but i will spend it for something else so every month they are spending spending impulsive buying impulsive buying how to stop impulsive buying in my previous video also i told just for 24 hours you just postpone okay grind your teeth just postpone for 24 hours and then do uh, just think whether i really need to spend this money or not so stop impulsive purchases so it will if you do this for 20 just to postponing for 24 hours definitely you will have a rethink never ever do impulsive purchases even for a small things like buying uh, pizza or purchasing some accessories if you are a female and then purchasing shoe for men or something like that so uh, don't do impulsive purchases it will leak the money from your savings account without your knowledge and then you may not be using it for most of the things we buy in impulsive purchases we can see go around the house and see how many articles it is just like just lying without use so don't do any impulsive purchases give a due due thought budget it then four not investing in equity equity is one of the best <clears throat> way of asset class best asset class to invest mm -hmm. it will beat most of the other asset class in the long run so most of the other class other asset class in the long run so participate in the market participate start with you start, go with the mutual fund sip or start with the exchange traded fund basket of funds are there nifty 50 how to do that you just put it in the description box we will come and explain it to you so if you do that nifty 50 is the india's top 50 companies right so that etf you can do it etf in etf there is a chance of going even in the sip also so slowly slowly you can accumulate you can do rupee cost averaging so that you can accumulate wealth of that top performing companies of india so not investing equity is a biggest mistake do participate if you are even a middle-aged person like me you can start investing even today onwards because you know that nifty is last 10 years average CAGR is somewhere around 13 percent so 13 percent means every four and a half or five years that money doubles so that is how it is my dear friends so having seen for three decades i can sell that 
in uh, 2004 the market was around somewhere around 4600 4700 here in 2023 we are sitting somewhere around 60000 market see how much the market has grown the census has grown similarly if you participate in equity your money will also grow that much overspending often yes overspending means what supposing if you want to spend something for article you have budgeted it then going you go over there suppose you want to purchase a smartwatch the smartwatch if you go there and purchase it your budget is somewhere around 5000 but the moment you see there the, the showroom guy shows you some uh, uh, presents you somewhere around 15000 12000 and then 10000 and you are saying that no no this 5000 watch is not good then you are spending for going for 10000 month so you are increasing 100% if you do it once that is okay but the same thing happening everywhere means that is even if you go for sunglasses sunglasses it starts even a decent sunglass from any branded showroom it will start from 600 700 thousand rupees but he will show you for 12,000 rupees even show you for the 5,000 rupees so these are all the branded imported glasses there also you start overspending it right if it's normal reading glass i'm using reading glass reading glass and the progressive lens it is available i am using only for reading but at the same time if i am going for the imported one it will cost you in 20000 or 25000 enormous cost according to the but that is whether i am overspending or i am spending logically you see i have to see that don't do overspend every time you are going there. so you just track where and all you are doing overspending don't do it often it will also reduce your bank balance you need be left with any money in case of urgency then no financial plan financial plan is very very important my dear friend we should have financial plan means only for the rich some people are thinking it is only for the rich people only for the uh, those who have got a family only those who have got the surplus income so financial planning even for the person who is earning even 10 to 15 thousand rupees also he has also has to do financial planning at the same time the person who is earning unlimited income you should also do the financial planning financial plan is not for the person those who in finance or those who in uh, rich people so those who are already married those who are in middle age it's not like that even for the kid or even for the person who has just started his earning he has to do financial planning even for the homemaker financial planning is very very important so if you don't know how to do financial planning go to my video asset allocation is there go to basics of financial planning is there in this video in this uh, playlist itself you can go and do uh, see how to do financial planning this tutorial is given please watch and comment and come back to me and don't forget to subscribe my channel then lifestyle infl inflation my dear friend this is very very uh, common nowadays lifestyle inflation means people's uh, disposable income is increasing every year so who's our even a uh, those who are just passed out of college engineering and from a good college they are getting 10 to 12 lakhs rupees per annum income so what they are doing till yesterday they were uh, leading a normal life now as soon as they get a good income their standard of living going up and then they should be happily living that but doesn't mean that their lifestyle you can travel in a 5 lakhs car you can travel in a 20 lakhs car you can carry in a 10 lakhs car so immediately people will do they will upgrade the car from 6 lakhs car to 10 lakhs car from 10 lakhs car to 15 lakhs car so lifestyle inflation goes up a person who is uh, uh, riding a normal bike a decent bike he will go for a sports bike like uh, nowadays it has come uh, java has come two and a half lakh rupees from office to home traveling you need not have around a two and a half or three lakhs bike at the same time if you are passionate about it you can buy it i don't say that buying a two-wheeler is wrong thing but don't increase the lifestyle in inflation going for the normal camera you can purchase but people are purchasing a, like a professional camera around five to six lakhs rupees a dslr camera so if you spend like that definitely uh, this is called life lifestyle inflation you will be left with no money as as uh, as you are increasing li lifestyle inflation life for life you will be spending lesser and lesser amount so don't increase your lifestyle inflation living below means is the key if you want to become rich live below means so live below the, your means you should be living within the 
uh, what is the basic necessity plus some kind of comfort you can have it but do not increase disproportionately then no emergency fund very 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 important my dear friends minimum six months of emergency fund is very very important those who have got other streams of income they can think of three months and then for a safer side 12 months of monthly income as emergency fund is very 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 important you should have it emergency fund and then the life insurance health insurance so life insurance should be 10 times of your annual income health insurance should be 50 times of your monthly income because emergency emergency when it strikes nobody would know but emergency fund will take care of you right so we have to cater your emergency fund in addition to that life insurance health insurance is very very important none not tracking expenses this is one of my favorite thing to do uh, every month not tracking expenses how do you track expenses my dear friends any uh, anything any thoughts just put it in a uh, uh, description comment box but uh, how do i do tracking expenses simply most of us make through upi payment nowadays even for normal to idli i make upi payment coffee upi payment always put take one minute and 30 seconds of time just type coffee or something flower something tiffin then uh, something whatever travel you just put it in a te uh, 10 letters something like that then at the end of month when you receive salary log into your uh, internet banking just to download one month your account statement in pdf then use highlighters i use three highlighters number one pink highlighter for the unnecessary expenses right then fluorescent for the investment how, many, how much investments i have made then normal yellow highlighter that is for the household expenses so i would know how much pink is there so pink means it is equal to red I, I say that which are all the expenses unnecessary expenses i made last month i have to curtail and then i made green so i make more greens i will try to make more greens green means where i am investing more so the target should be my personal target should be 70 percent i should invest right so i should increase my income so much that i could uh, i can uh, invest 70 percent of my income and then rest 30 percent i can do it for the other chores so likewise you should also have targets so it is very easy to track my expenses on the aftermath of upi has come or google pay gp whatever you are saying that but here you have to just highlight it take a pdf and then highlight it it's a very simple method you would become to know so i think i have covered uh, very very important thing just to recap we'll go to the first one bad debts second not budgeting third not saving early fourth impulsive buys then not investing in equity or spending after no financial plan lifestyle inflation then no emergency fund not tracking expenses with this i conclude this video my dear friends here i would like to tell you very important thing so keep subscribing this channel and we are also conducting webinars yesterday also we have conducted a webinar so in this webinar we will be telling lot of financial tips how to go about it so come back to this channel i will put up a live uh, notification so whenever there is a webinar please do join i will be calling lot of experts the next webinar we are going to conduct with cash flow management of personal and business please do join us so thank you bye bye please subscribe comment thank you